Prince Smells is given a chance to prove himself in battle, as a mysterious force of undead attack without warning. Hey guys, MKDH here, and I'm finally, finally getting around the streaming Shattered Throne two and a half months after it, it got released officially. I swear to god. Would have gotten around to this sooner, but yeah, now that bloody cold! Upgrade your abilities to increase your economy and gain access to neat. Yeah. In case you can tell. Uh, well, gotta wait for this thing to load. Yeah, Shadow Chrome takes cues from Advanced Force. Uh, although, there are uh, plenty of differences to the point where it's taken, a, taken on its own identity. Friend Fellas, awake at once! And then that host ravages the countryside! Mobilize the cannon! We go at once to meet this unholy foe! Defeat all him! <laughs> Time to learn how to click on the circle unit and then the mark zombie to shoot it! Okay. So basically, attacking works like this. You can, you can do stuff and blah blah blah. Great shot! Now move the circle unit to the mark to, uh, location and attack, attack it again! Basically, to move, basically you use the mouse to do pretty much everything in Shadow Throne. Like you click on a location and the unit will move there, and or you can click on an enemy and attack them. Oh, and here's Shadow Throne's selling point. Each time a unit is attacked, they gain a combo point shown by the number of cross swords over their head. Yeah, see that? See that above the, each of the two enemies? <laughs> that guy with 6 HP is called a zombie as one. That guy right next to the swordsman it, it, is a cool. He has two. A unit can gain up to three of these, and each one increases the damage the unit suffers. Yeah, by one point each. Let's see that X. And next, you click the circle unit and the mark the enemy to attack. Oh! Wait, what? This school doesn't have any of the combo. Yeah, in case you're wondering, yeah, let's attack this school and usually combo points fall off the target when you make any action which does not attack that target again. But the witch hunter moves all combo points onto its target. Take advantage of this by attacking with the circle unit. Boom! <laughs> Combo points also reduce the damage the enemy deals when counterattacking. Compare the difference in damage taken by each of your attacking units. Mm, yeah, yeah. This guy had three combo points that went attacked, so he dealt dealt no damage and took. Uh, I have to check, but he definitely took a took quite a bit. This guy, on the other hand, had one combo point, so he was able to deal damage. And, and took less damage. It is important to master the use of combo points to maximize the damage you deal, minimize the damage you suffer in your retaliation. Though there is always an exception to every rule, those zombies always attack the full strength regardless of the number of combo points. Yeah. Now let's finish on that ghoul. Move the circle guard to the marked locations and deliver the killing blow. Oh, it is more useful to deal combo points. Y you see the m m meter at the top? That's the mana meter. When you kill a unit, any combo points that were on the target are gained as mana points. M you can use the trigger special powers. Yeah, just like the seal powers in Advanced Wars. No, they, they do work differently, but I I'll get to that when I do. There's some extra mana points. You get five extra. See? Click the lightning bolt on the... Top bar and choose the rally power to heal your damage too. Lightning power and we have our CEO, Prince Mallet, Noble. All units have plus two max health or max HP. You can use charge for extra mobility. Mobility is increased by 50% for it's actually in it's actually provided by a status that provides plus 50% movement. Anyway, the selling point is rally, which is basically 
A better version of Andy's hyper reach there. Go bigger. Rally! <laughs> ah, that's better. Great work. You can wish others to set up your target with combo points and press them on the attack with cruise leaders. Guards are best when counterattacking. Keep them between your other units and the enemy so the enemy must attack them first. Now destroy the remaining enemies. Keep those core ideas in mind and you will surely be victorious. So yeah, we're out of the fourth tutorial for this level. It, I have a bias against fourth tutorials, honestly. I, I just want to get in the game if I'm a veteran player. I suppose Shattered Throne does have its share of complications, so... Anyway, uh, let's go over each of the unit types. If you highlight the... Uh, there's an icon right above the unit icon that is either a shield, an axe, or a, or a target practice. What's it? I'm not sure what... I'm an idiot! But anyway, that icon showcases what the what type of unit the unit type is. Like guard is a defender unit, low cost unit that forms a solid framework to build a defense. Defenders are better than infantry in the force. But of course, Shadow Throne has as a let's. Less white price gaps, so, and even days of ruin, in fact. And, so, yeah. Crusader is the assault unit, is better stat. You can. Like, let me compare the. Compare. Yeah. You can tell that Crusader has better stats than guards. But they also cost more. Assault units also cost more. Assault units are core line units uh, featuring strong attacks and toughness. Oh, oh yeah, and also the traits are different. Like guards, and traits are enemy face friendly. Defend, defender gains double attack when counter attacking. That's obviously enemy face. And first strike counter attacks before the enemy attacking enemy attacks. Also enemy face. Compared to Crusader, who's who has cleave, the unit attacks also targets enemies to either side of the target. This actually doesn't work on enemy base because it, it would be finicky to have guards deal every area of attack damage every time they get the counter attack. And I just gains blessing of defense anytime this unit is healed by a leader power or friendly unit. This is even less obvious about being, <laughs> being not so enemy face friendly. But yeah, consider this combo points aren't so friendly for the enemy face. And ah yes, the Witch Hunter, who actually has one attack base. He gets. Uh, uh, sorry, two attack base. He gets plus one from fortification. I was lucky at the defense. One defense, well, speaking of. So. Which under is a primary and range attack unit, so. That combo point redirecting he was able to do earlier, that was redirect. Moves all combo points and play onto the attack target. In Purge, this unit's attack also removes any blessing from its targets. It gets rid of, which is basically getting rid of all statuses. Which all Tundra also has three range, unlike God and Crusader. Let's compare his stats to God. One less attack. He's a little more mobile, but I shouldn't mention that Witch Hunters cost the same as Crusaders, so 
it's better to compare them to Crusader. So two less attack, one it's defense is the same. HP is lower too, so yeah. But of course, range units can still apply extra combo points. So there's that. Hold on. Now, I'm going... Oh yeah, oh yeah, the enemy unit types are... There's no re enemy... The opponent... Factions do have different unit types, but... For each of their... Yeah. For each of their unit types. Their defender zombie, who has resist, status immunity, and relentless. Which means... Which means... The unit always counters attacks at full attack value, regardless of for combo number of combo points it has. So zombie, even if he has three combo points on him, it will deal. Will always deal. Will always deal four damage before defense. Y yeah, the game needs a subtraction defense, which is very very nice. Oh, and to cancel a move, you, you right click me. Ah, oh, right then. It's a good. Compare zombie to. Go uh, so, anyway, compare zombies to guards. Zombie has more HP, and guard normally has 7, except Valis has, has a plus 2 HP advantage, so, yeah. Zombie has more attack. However, zombie also has zero defense. So the range attack still be the zombie stain. Same with the ghouls, actually. Oh, and zombie also has re reduced movement power. Ghoul, ghoul has 14 HP, no defense, but only three attack, unlike the Crusader. But ghoul has vicious. Gains plus two attack him for each combo point on its target. There's also consumed corpse. Recover eight health when a nearby unit is killed. Consumed corpse is not as player face friendly, but it can really be a pain to deal with. So yeah, this is also. Actually, Gumsum Corpse is slightly more player based friendly just because of Vicious. Because Vicious can deal a lot of damage to a unit that's been. that had had a lot of combo points inflicted on it. But of course, it. Of course, your units aren't. And suffering combo points on player face, so on your own face, so this is doesn't work at all on enemy face naturally. Yeah. So anyway, let's get this started. Uh, hold on. I could mm, I could try to do the level with the undo command. It's something. It's that. Uh, Cycle icon to the right of the mana meter and to the left of the play button icon, which would be the end turn icon. But I'm not going to do that because, yeah, you know, yeah, I try to showcase how the game can be played without it. Yeah, we do want a model of efficiency going. I mean, the game. I mean, checkmark games. Checkmark game thing, the company that made Shadow Bone. Checkmark games is. Checkmark games does listen at least, so. Yeah, anyway. Five. No, wait. Six. Five. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would want this guy to attack it with a school, but... Yeah. Hold on. Shoot. Two. I'll just have the guards sit here. No combo points inflicted on the zombie. Inflicted, but I'm at shooting in the clown fork anyway. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. You saw a bit consume corpse in action. Cards say the place here, but. Yeah, okay. Then, Guinea Muddle, your doom is upon you, the dead merchant. So sorry, I just do not have it in me. This is just not working for me, I am afraid. You just killed everyone in that village! I was really hoping I could recapture my youth. Causing fear and panic in the peasantry used to be my thing. But I guess what they say is true. You just can't go back. Ah, I see you're barely the troops. Very really good. I do not suppose I could just take my leave now. Are you serious? You know how long I've been waiting back here from waiting for something to do. Mm. Of course that then. I shall have life you probably villain. Yeah, there's definitely humans that have struck me out. And yeah. This is going to be a fun turn. Hmm. I want that. Mm. Okay, guard can take out that uh, ghoul. So The problem is I don't have much to work with. This is going to be fun. Wait. What if I can... Yeah, yeah, I can take out the ghoul. Good. And I just need to... Mm, yeah, in case you haven't noticed, I'm not having the Crusader attack because... It, it, the Crusader attacks, it, he will splash on the zombie, kill him, and that will set off the consumed corpse. I mean, of course, consumed corpse get, got set off for this school, but... But it's no biggie. Hooray! I got rally! Bye-bye. And yeah, you don't get mana points for 
killing it. The mana points you get is equal to the number of combo points placed on an enemy when you kill them. And that actually that actually brings up another good design decision. Namely that you can use defensive power against enemies. Very neat. And very creative in fact. I mean, yeah, you Shattered Throne does inevitably have to counterbalance it. But good thing it's not I had to do that by using subtraction defense. Seriously, more games should use subtraction defense. But nothing more I can do on this turn. <laughs> Ow, counter attack, but the enemies don't have redirect. Hmm. Okay, so... I think I'm going to Manly. Okay, can you reach school? Yes, I can. Oh, and yeah, yeah this Crusader would have died. It would... Mm -hmm. not for mm -hmm. Prince Bowser's innate mm -hmm. seal pavilion. Level up. Oh yeah, there's a level up feature where you get extra. Where when a unit gains enough experience, they gain extra HP and given traits. The traits vary deep between units. Like guard gets extra defense and piercing. Crusader gets extra attack and then status immunity. Oh, oh yeah, piercing. Piercing. It, it, as attacks ignore uh, ignore the defense that I forget it I forget it it works on enemy face I have to check which under gain range and magic strike which I believe it ignores damage having traits which we'll see later and zombie gains extra attack and then restless which basically acts as a one-up for zombie Yes, a one-up. Of course, you have to get zombie all the way to ghoul level. And ghoul has paralyzed, which she got to mm, <laughs> attack the unit to lose their next turn. That is, if they survive in the first place. Hello, vicious. And they get a mm, defense point. Anyway, let's mm, wall up this ghoul. Because he's the bigger threat, really. I mean, the zombies. Not a bad, but. Pointless movement. Oh, oh, yeah, the Crusader leveled up. Nice. I'm keeping the mm, guard on the. Or to get. I don't want the zombie moving on. To, on the mountain, because I don't want the zombie moving on to it. I mean, okay, then again. Actually, that's a bad reason, anyways. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention a key difference. Mm, no, the, because of the combo point system, Shadow Throne is to make sure that you don't mm, swarm nearly as easy, swarm with mm, high movement power units nearly as easily. So mm, the movement cost between roads and planes is. One for roads, two for planes. This can actually, this can actually draw off people who are used to advanced wars or fire emblem, but it, but it does allow for potentially good map design, like uh, relying on roads to attack. Like you can use roads to control attack lanes and whatnot. And, when designing a multiplayer map. <clears throat> yeah. There's not much left to be said, so let's take these guys out. Uh, 
Wow, that actually killed? I checked it and approved the provided suitable immune the leech thing was much more attractive when I was younger. If I had only known that the whole eternal life and thing in which a dragon in on would have ended. I could have been happy just as um, another simple evil necromancer. Victory! I win. Four turns. No units lost, of course. I lent the enemy units and killed. 160 gold and 25 mana. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I got mm, twice as much mana as mm, the enemy units killed, so uh, that's good. Oh, and there's a replay feature. I don't know what to say, but I'll use the replay feature to showcase how I do these levels in even stricter conditions. At least mm, until further notice. Now I don't wish to save a replay. It 